no legs. So it's been a couple weeks since we've seen some high quality results from athletes all over the world because of the global situation. But athletes are really getting antsy and really want to get back onto the track. And this past week showed that the athletes are still in great form. We saw some great results all over the world. And we're going to jump into a couple of those results here. First off, we saw the showdown in O-Town. Some high quality athletes putting down a great meet in Orlando, Florida. We're going to start off with that women's 100 meters where we saw Shakari Richardson. This is the first time we've seen her run since the USA trials last year where she finished eighth place in the 100 meters and didn't make it out of the 200 meter heats. She managed to put down a time of 10.94 seconds in the 100 meters. Now this was wind aided a 2.8 meter per second wind, but this shows that she's still in great form. But that was only the heat. She came back later on and ran 11.05 seconds in the finals and this time it was wind legal. So really justifying the time she ran in the heats and also in my opinion this back up the time of 10.75 that she ran last year at those NCAA championships. Of course, it's not nearly as fast, but it shows that she's able to take that year off, really gather herself back, recover, get into good form, get into a good headspace, and come back and put down a great performance here. So really great performance from her. We also saw Hannah Cunliffe, also previously of Oregon. She managed to run a time of 11.14 seconds here. So great women's 100 meters. We also saw the men run the 100 meters here as well. Noah Lyles and Justin Gatlin really highlighted it here. Noah Lyles ran 9.93 seconds. Unfortunately, it was wind aided. Also for Justin Gatlin, he ran 9.99 seconds. So that wind of 4.0 meters per second, unfortunately wind aided. But again, showing that they are in consistent form and this layoff did not hinder their performances. One of the big highlights behind them though was Trayvon Bermel. He put down a wind legal time of 10.04 seconds. This is really significant because he has been on and off with injuries over the past couple years. This is his fastest time since the 2016 Olympic Games where he ran in the Olympics in Rio that year. So this is really a great indicator of where he is right now. Hopefully it looks like he's recovered from his injuries and he's going to be headed into the right path for the 2021 Olympic season. Behind Bromel, Andrea de Grasse, also another great athlete coming from Canada. He managed to come up just behind Bromel, running 10.15 seconds. In the final, Bromel, Lyles, and Gatlin, they unfortunately chose to sit out of the final, but we saw Kenny Benarek. He's been one of the athletes on the rise over the past couple years, specifically last year where he dropped some fast times. He was running the 100 here and ran 10.14 seconds to just beat out Andre de Grasse who ran 10.17 seconds. So great performances all around in that men's 100 meters. Now stepping back over to the women's side, we saw Shawnee Miller-Weibo in both the 400 and the 200 meters. In the 400 first, she ran 50.52 seconds. A great performance considering the layoff and the consistency that she's been showing over the past couple years showing that she's still in great form. The 200, she put down a time of 22.61 seconds. So again, great performances from Shawnee Miller-Webo showing that she's still in great form. Then on the men's 200 meter side of things, we saw Kenny Benarek back here again. He managed to put down a dominating time of 20.06 seconds. This is really significant because we saw that he got injured last year at USA's. He ran in the Doha World Championships, but unfortunately because of the injury, he couldn't perform very well. This shows that he's definitely gonna be in great form going into the Olympics next year. My personal opinion, he's definitely going to be one of the best 200 meter runners in the world, not only next year, but for the years to come along with Noah Lyle. So keep a lookout for Kenny Benarek in the 200 meters and possibly the 400 meters as well. Finally, great note to make is that Christian Taylor, he was the only jumper here. He managed to get out in the triple jump 16.75 meters, a great season best for him. Of course, we don't have that many competitions. So just showing that he's in great form and definitely going to be the favorite going into the Olympics in 2021. Now let's head over to the other side of the country in Portland, Oregon, where we saw the Oregon Track Club going up against Pete Julian's group. Pete Julian's group is the group that used to be part of the Oregon Project, but here they put on a great dual meet, just three events in the men's 1500 meters. The big highlight was Donovan Brazier, absolutely dominating the race in a commanding fashion, coming away with the win in three minutes, 35.85 seconds. Very great performance for him. In the women's 800 meters, we also saw a great field here, Ray Raven Rogers, who recently moved back to Oregon, previously training in Pennsylvania, she managed to take the lead in the 800 meters. Unfortunately, she was only pacing the field. She ran about 550 meters, then dropped out. But Chanel Price, the 2014 World Indoor Champion at 800 meters, she took the win here in two minutes, 1.47 seconds. Just behind her was Constance Klosterhoff, and well known for her 1500 and 5000 meter accolades. She managed to get a best of two minutes, four seconds flat. And then Sabrina Sutherland, just behind her in two minutes, 4.5 
4.07 seconds. So great 800 meter runs for the women there. Finally, in the men's 800 meters, we saw Craig Ingalls get the win here all by himself in one minute, 48.55 seconds. Donovan Brazier actually did start off the race. He ran 400 meters in about 49 seconds. Very commanding start off the 400 meters and he dropped out the race, let Craig Ingalls finish it off by himself. So great dual meet. They said they're going to have a couple more going on throughout the rest of the year. So keep a lookout for the Oregon Track Club and Pete Julian's group in Oregon. Now let's head back over to Florida where on June 27th, we saw a couple highlights from some high quality athletes down there. Steven Gardner, the 400 meter world champion from Doha last year. In the 300 meters, he got out to a best of 31.95 seconds. Very strong performance for him considering the conditions and considering some of his past performances. We also saw Jasmine Camacho Quinn, formerly of Kentucky. She competes in the 100 meter hurdles for Puerto Rico. She got out to a personal best in the 300 meters of 36.48 seconds. Really great performance considering she's a 100 meter hurdler. Finally, Tamari Davis. Remember, she set the indoor high school record at the 60 meter dash. She went pro just a couple days after that in January. She was running the 100 meters, got out to a best of 11.47 seconds in the heats and then 11.50 seconds in the finals. So not very fast times, but hopefully good indicators that she's getting into the groove as a professional athlete with Adidas now. Now, a couple other distance races. We had Emma Colburn. She was competing with her team out in Colorado. In the one mile run, she got out to a best of four minutes, 32.72 seconds. A nighttime run, she was trying to get the best mile ever in the state of Colorado and this time sets it for her. So great performance for her there. Back in Norway now, remember we did see the Impossible Games a couple weeks ago. Here we saw the Ingebrigtsen brothers really putting down some great performances. Henrik Ingebrigtsen in the men's 5,000 meters, he got out to a best of 13 minutes, 19.65 seconds, just four seconds off of his own personal best. So great performance for him there. Then we saw Jakob Ingebrigtsen and Philip Ingebrigtsen. They were in the 800 meters and put down times of 146.44 and 146.74 seconds respectively. Personal best for both these guys showing that they're really on a roll this summer despite everything that's been going on globally. Back over in the United States, we saw the Bowerman Track Club put on a meet just amongst their own athletes. Elise Cranny in the women's 5,000 meters got out to a best of 14 minutes, 48.02 seconds. Just behind her, Courtney Fredericks, the great 3,000 meter steeplechaser. She ran 14 minutes, 50.06 seconds. Finally, in third place, Colleen Quigley ran 15 minutes, 10.42 seconds. All three of these ladies set massive personal bests in the 5,000 meters. These are great performances for them as well as some of the other ladies who finished behind them. So really great performances in the women's 5,000 meters. In the 1,500 meters for the men, we saw Josh Thompson and Lopez Lamont put down the same time of 3 minutes 39.66 seconds. Both of them tying at the same time, but Josh Thompson came out with the first place, getting just ahead of Lopez Lamont in second place. Also, Mohamed came up for third in 3 minutes 39.84 seconds. Finally, Shelby Houlihan was in the 1500 meters. She got out to a best of 4 minutes 2.37 seconds, just ahead of Kersha Schweizer, who ran 4 minutes 2.81 seconds. So, all these ladies and men really throwing down some great performances just in the intermeet at the Bowerman Track Club. Finally, let's end things off with Manu Duplantis. He was out in Gothenburg, Sweden and managed to get out to a best in a pole vault of 5.94 meters. Of course, it's nowhere near the world records he set earlier this season in the indoor season, but he has definitely been jumping a lot throughout the outdoor season despite everything going on in the world, and he's definitely going to be the favorite going into the 2021 Olympics next year. So tons and tons of results coming out this past week. Of course, we may not see some big, big meets like we're used to in the past couple seasons because of everything that's going on, but we will see some more results going on like this for the rest of the year. We do have the Zurich Inspiration Games coming up in a couple days, so keep a lookout for some results from that, and keep a lookout for some great results throughout the entire world that are likely going to be coming in over the next couple weeks. All right, so make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite performance or your favorite result from the past couple days were. Make sure you guys keep tuning in, and we'll be back again in the next video. Thanks.